Good morning. Today, we are going to talk about the Galaxy Fold. The Galaxy Fold is a Samsung device which is considered to be the innovations for 2019 for Samsung. As you can see, it has a small display outside. But once you open it, that's where the magic happens. Yeah, I know this phone is, isn't perfect. With something like this, you might want to ditch your tablet or your laptop in that matter. The Samsung Galaxy Fold is also equipped with DeX. So you can always just put that in your pocket and bring an extra keyboard, bring a mouse, and that's it. You're all set. As long as you have the HDMI cable, you're ready. So let's go, in, go into it right now. The Note 10, which was released, is actually similar in terms of their cameras. They have the same design of camera. The only difference is, this has six cameras. One, two, three, four, five. And then, when you're in phone mode, That's the other one. It's crazy. This phone has six cameras. Now, for the specs of this phone, it's no joke. This is actually equipped with dual SIM, if you think about it. One is the physical SIM card, and there's a SIM card that you can get on your carrier, which is eSIM but it's not yet available for all carriers. Here in the Philippines, I think Globe is just starting to roll it out. I asked Mark and they don't have that technology yet. Now, for the specs of this phone, this is equipped with a Qualcomm SM815 Snapdragon 855. It's Android Pie. The Note 10 has already the Android 10, but I think this phone might be a little late on the Android 10. It's 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 not because Samsung can't make it, but to do the the testing of this phone, they, they're limited. The stocks are limited. However, it's doing good in the market. They sold over a million already. This is equipped with a 512 storage of internal UFS 3.0. So the storage in this device is no joke. It's really fast compared to all the phones right now. I think this is this has the fastest storage ca capacity. It's also equipped with 12 gig RAM. And this one has a quad speaker. That's why it's really loud. It's amazingly loud. Let's try to listen to something. Hmm, what do we have here? Okay. Let's jack that up. Yeah, it's good. It's crazy. This is this is some kind of new tech that they have here. I think it's better than my speaker for my laptops. And as you can see it continues. After I played it there, I can always play it here. In 
but we have to do something on that settings we'll probably we'll talk that about that later I've been using this phone for almost a week already and truth be told the battery is really good especially if you don't quite use the tablet mode all the time like me I'm mostly using the front-facing camera if I need to take selfies or stuff but you know for text for calls for opening my emails the the front does everything for me it's it's not a limited version of Android it's also an Android phone full to use for you there's no restrictions it's not like the the Nokia phone back in the day, the Nokia 9210, that you can answer text messages outside, but you cannot do pretty much everything else if you don't open the phone. Well, that's the downside of that phone because, because of its limitation, you had to open the phone a thousand times. I mean, and that's where it uh, had the problem. The, the flex cable wasn't working already. The screen inside is not working. So then it, it becomes a failure. But what Samsung implemented here was something unique. You are not limited to just notifications on the outside, but you are actually having the full Android experience outside and inside. It's great to watch contents inside, believe me. It's crazy. Sometimes I'm 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 quite happy just just watching some videos there than watching on my TV. But you know you'll experience it. This phone is actually a hundred and nine thousand in the Philippines. Equivalent to at least two grand two thousand dollars. It's not cheap. Well, being the first of its kind is not cheap. This is actually the way to experience new things in your smartphone. I think the, the best implementation of the Fold was given by Samsung. I know about the Razer, I know about the Huawei, but with Samsung, the first version of this phone is actually a flop. And what Samsung did was they, they took back all those units, fixed the problem, and shipped it back. With this kind of technology, the folding of the screens, there's, there's bound to be a lot of problems. There's moving parts. I mean... That's why all the phones for, for the past five years aren't folding because moving parts are actually the problem of phones. It's technology that can correct that. I think Samsung is pushing their way in putting so much time in these innovations. So, we hope that this first batch Although it's expensive, Samsung could learn something to develop for the mass consumers also. Probably they'd be able to give phones a new feel, new feature. Like for me, this phone actually saves me from bringing my desktop replacement laptop outside I just have to bring this one and probably my Surface Pro and I can pretty much do anything already as long as I have it if I'm traveling I could only bring this one and bring at least a keyboard and a mouse and I could just jack it up in an LCD and I have dex mode 
The fold is a great innovation. It's different. If you see the, the phone in real life, the first time that you see this phone, it's weird. It's so long and it's kind of bulky. Unattractive to some, but once it's open, it brings up the new dimension. And that dimension is what's bringing fresh contents Well, I'll talk more about the Samsung Galaxy Fold. This is just an introductory video. I just want people to know that if you if you can, if you can buy it, buy it. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth every penny. I'm telling you. I think this phone is gonna be something that you wanna keep because even in in in, in the long run. It's history. It's history, baby. It's history. Alright, uh, if you like our channel, subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.